Um, so today's Mother's Day, and um, we wanted to wish all the mothers that are watching today a happy Mother's Day. Um, thank you for everything you do. We wouldn't be here without you. And to my mom, who is watching from Los Angeles, I think she's watching, um, happy Mother's Day. I love you. And um, Davis, did you call your mom yet? Uh, my mom is upstairs right now, I think also tuning in, so she can probably hear me through the floor. But uh, for what it's worth, happy Mother's Day, Mom. I love you. And uh, yeah, I'd also like to mention um, for all of you tuning in on YouTube, uh, we'd love to we'd love for you to interact and comment on the stream. So if you can let us know, you know, what you're up to today, where you're where you're um, watching from, kind of uh, who you're with, all of that kind of stuff, we'd love to hear from you. And we'd love to uh, we'd love to, um, you know, communicate with you um, now to uh, kick off today's program, actually. We're gonna um, uh, introduce our very own Michelle, who's already on the screen here. And uh, she and Tim Paget are gonna be playing some piazzolla for us for flute and uh, marimba. Michelle, are you all ready to go? Yes, I think so. All right, awesome, y'all take it away, have fun. Hey, uh, thanks for watching. So we're gonna play some piazzolla tangos for you. This is from the history of the tango. The first movement is called Bordel 1900. So this is the beginning of the tango in Argentina. This is when uh, different people were dancing the tango, playing the tango. And the idea of this song is it's imitating the flirtation between the women at the bordels and the policemen, uh, anybody who's walking by. So a lot of chatter between the instruments. It's very, very charming, a uh, little bit less romantic than the second movement, which is uh, Cafe 1930. 30. Uh, which is all about when the tango became less about dancing and more about listening. So it's a bit slower, a bit more melodic and uh, equally beautiful, but different. Yeah, hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Welcome Colby Bond on clarinet playing some Stravinsky for us. Hello everybody. My name is Colby. Today I'm going to be playing three pieces for solo clarinet by Stravinsky. Happy Mother's Day. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Excellent job, man. That was killer. Thank you so much, Colby. Um, so moving right along, coming up next, we have uh, Olex Kashli, um from our bassoon studio. Um, so we're going to take it back a couple hundred years and we're going to um, be hearing some Bach now. Um, and on the subject of sub double reeds, um, SFCM has uh, actually a double read room where with all the tools included so that all of our students can um, you know, do everything they need to do to make their reads. Um, yeah, complete with tools and everything like that. Olix, are you there? Are you ready to go? Yeah, hi. Take it um, away. Yeah, so I will be playing the Saraband from Bach's Flute Partita. Um, I want to reiterate again, happy Mother's Day. Love you, Mom. And I hope you enjoy. So we're getting away from the woodwinds, going to the going the harp direction. So we have Ginger Rose Brooker on harp, who will be playing some uh, Carlos Salzeda for us. Um, and under the San Francisco Symphony principal harpist, Doug Roth, SFCM's very small harp studio allows for some pretty um, interesting and, um, you know, pardon me, some some uh, unique performance opportunities for each for each performer. So uh, Ginger, are you there? Are you ready to go? 
Hi everyone. Thank you, Davis. Thank you, um, all right. So the first piece I'm going to play is called Gavat. And to my mom who is watching this, happy Mother's Day. I'm going to play is called Dreamingly, also by Carl Sosato.
Thank you, everyone. That was lovely, Ginger. Thank you so much. Um, next, we have um, Davis on clarinet. But before that, we're actually going to take a very quick five minute intermission. So we'll see you back here shortly.
Welcome back, everybody. And I'm seeing in the comment section we have um, Peggy and Bruce from New Hampshire. Hi to you all. And we have people from Virginia um, and Philadelphia. So thank you from, uh, for tuning in from all over the country. Next, we have Davis Hampton on the bass clarinet. And he's going to play um, a piece actually not written for bass clarinet. And so Davis, can you talk to us a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I'm gonna be playing a couple movements of a Bach cello suite, the second suite in D minor. Um, bass clarinet is, um, for me, one of my favorite solo instruments. It's the instrument that I actually started playing back in sixth grade. Um, and it's got a lot of rich, low timbres that I really enjoy uh, exploring and um, you know using as a solo instrument in addition to an orchestra. So um, it's a transposing instrument. So even though the suite's in D minor, it's gonna sound like it's in C minor for all y'all with perfect pitch out there. So um, just know that it is on purpose. Um, so I'll be playing the Sarabande and the Gigue from that suite. Um, and yeah, this is for you, mom, upstairs right now. You can probably hear me in the house, but I'm gonna play for all of you too. Thank you. 
so much, Davis. And um, now that we've heard some really low woodwind sounds, we're going to move along to another one coming right up with Jamil on the bassoon. Jamil, are you there? Hi. Hello. Um, so also wanted to say uh, we know you're graduating. So congratulations. Um, is this your master's or your PSD? Um, so this is actually my PSD. I graduated with my master's in 2018. Cool. All right. So what are you going to play for us today? So I will be playing two waltzes from a set of 16 that Francisco Mignone wrote for the bassoon. Um, so often the bassoon is typecast as the bassoon, uh, as the bassoon, as the buffoon or the jokester. And I really love how these waltzes show off the really lyrical tenor register and a really smoky lower register. You'll really hear the entire range of the bassoon during these pieces. Thank you. 
just wanted to say happy Mother's Day to my mom and to my grandma, who are both watching. Thank you so much, Jamil. That was amazing. And so coming up next, we got a little bit more double read action, um, this time on oboe. Uh, so we have Ben Brogadier here. He's going to play a little Britain for us. Uh, ben, are you all ready to go? Hey, yeah. Hi. All right, man. Take it away. Thank you. Yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Um, like say as everyone else says, happy Mother's Day to my mom down in San Diego. Um, I'm gonna play the uh, uh, first four of the six metamorphoses after Ovid um, by Benjamin Britten. Um, each one has a title and a little uh, blurb to go with it. Um, so I'll read each one before. Um, yeah, and I hope you hope you enjoy. Um, so the first one, uh, Pan, who played upon the reed pipe which was Syrinx, his beloved. Phaeton, who rode upon the chariot of the sun for one day and was hurled into the river Patus by a thunderbolt. Niobe, who, lamenting the death of her 14 children, was turned into a mountain.
caucus, at whose feasts is heard the noise of gaggling women, paddling tongues, and shouting out of boys. <laughs> Excellent job, man. That was a, I really like that piece. Yeah, that brings out a lot of the, uh, you know, the different characteristics that the oboe can. Oh, for sure. Do. Yeah, it's yeah. Very, very versatile piece, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you, Ben. Uh, next, we're going on to um, our other host, uh, Michelle, who is back to play a little bit of Telemann on solo flute for us. Uh, Michelle, are you there? Yes. Um, hi again. So I will be playing some Telemann fantasies, and he wrote 12 of them. I will only be playing two. Um, and they were written for flute without bass, bass accompaniment, and um, they are pretty much a staple in today's Baroque flute music. So I chose um, the to start with the B flat major one and number four because it's so simple and joyful, and I um, hope that it can bring some happiness to your home today.
Actually, we're the next the next player on harp. Z Lee has some Bach and some Debussy for us. So uh, Z Z Lee, are you there? Hi, I'm here. Hi. You're good to go. Take it away. Okay. Thank you. Today, the first piece I'm going to play is the fugue by Bach. Um, also, this one is transcribed by Marcel Guantoni. Hope you enjoy.
next piece I'm going to play is um, The Dances by Debussy and today I'm going to play the first movement of this. Thank you. 
you so much, Zeely. That was fantastic. All right, and now we're on to the final, uh, the final thing on our program here. Michelle, you want to say something about that? Sure. So um, this one's super special because um, Jasper, our oboist, comes from a very musical family, and um, he's so lucky to be able to play with his family right now and perform in our concert today. So Jasper, do you want to say a little bit or introduce your family and tell us anything? Yeah. So my name is Jasper. Um, I'm a second year master's in oboe. Um, this is my brother Vincent on bassoon and my mom Catherine on piano. Um, and it's just been really fun to be able to work on live chamber music while stuck at home. Um, we're going to be performing the Blinds Trio for oboe, bassoon, and piano. Great. All right. Enjoy.
our program for today. I think that that was very much the correct live chamber music, especially after so long of not getting to uh, hear it for, for a lot of us. Um, so once again, I want to thank Harry Winston for the continued support and partnership of the arts and SFCM. Uh, we all hope you enjoyed our concert today. This can be quite an isolating time for a lot of us, and we thought maybe some live music might help with that. Um, obviously, it's not a complete substitute, but Hopefully it'll fill your hearts a little bit until the time we can come together again, which will be soon. Um, again, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I'm personally very glad I got to play um, on Mother's Day. It was a special treat. Um, we do have more Tiny Dorm concerts coming up. We have uh, the Viola Studio today at 5 p.m., uh, as well as more almost every day this week. Um, so. Uh, go to the SFCM uh, performance calendar at sfcm.edu and you can get all the full schedule on all of those um, coming up. Um, yeah, until then, take care and be well. And so and once again, um, we <laughs> love playing for all of you today and we would just like all of the performers to come back here for one final bow. Great. Uh -huh. Wave. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>